if you're using Claude Code and you also use GitHub, you definitely want to install the Claude Code GitHub Actions. This will turn Claude Code basically into a background agent that can pick up issues in your code base that you might not have found and it can actually create pull requests for you so that you can code things without being at your desktop. It basically sits inside your GitHub repos. It watches for issues and PRs. You can mention Claude code at any time and Claude will come in and review everything for you. This means that you could file an issue on GitHub before you go to bed. You could wake up in the morning and you will have a pull request from Claude that you can then review to make sure that it works. You can test it on your desktop before merging it and deploying it to your live site. It's like having another developer on the team working in the background, basically 24 seven. It used to be available only through the API, which meant you paid for every request. But now recently it's been made available to users on Claude Pro and Max plans. So you don't pay any more for it. It's exactly the same as if you were using it on your desktop. You're not going to get billed through the API. You're not going to get charges that you aren't aware of. So you can just use it. I'm on the max $200 plan and I can use this as much as I like without additional charges. To get this working, we just need to load up Claude and use the slash command install GitHub app. Since my project already has a repository here, it's going to pick that one, but you can enter a different repository if you want to as well. I'm going to hit enter. You'll be taken to GitHub where you can install the Claude GitHub app. You can decide whether to install it for all repositories or only selected repositories. I'm going to choose all because I want to use Claude everywhere. Once you've been through the setup, it's going to give you the option to install the workflows. You can install Claude code, which means you can tag Claude in issues and pull request comments and Claude code review, which is an automated code review for every new pull request. Anytime you have a pull request, it will audit the code and find potential issues before you even merge it into your live site. I'm going to enter to confirm that we want to install both of these workflows. And now this is the new feature where you can create a long lived token with your subscription. If you want to use an API key, you can, but I have my Claude Max plan. So I'm going to carry on with the long lived token. This will take you to an authorization screen where you have to click authorize. We can head back and we can see that it has installed the app with the API key has been saved and you can see that it automatically creates a pull request to merge these changes into your repository. And now we can see that the Claude review bot is going through this and making sure that the pull request is okay to be merged. This should be pretty straightforward because it only has these two files to check, but it's going to very quickly go through this to do list here. And then once that's complete, we could then merge this in and start using Claude properly. In the Claude code review, you can change the prompt if you want to focus on something specific. This can be changed to whatever you like it to be. So we could change this to something like this. Please review the pull request. Look specifically for bugs and security issues. Only provide feedback on potential bugs and vulnerabilities. Be concise and to the point. My focus and my preference is, is there a bug? And is there a security vulnerability? So let's look at how we can use it in this issue here on my playbooks get a repo. I get a problem sometimes when I'm deploying. If a user hits the site before the deployment has finished, I get an error. The Vite manifest is not found. And I get some information here from Sentry, which explains the issue. So I asked Claude, can you look at this and find a way we can deploy the app without having this downtime? And now Claude's going through this. It's going to analyze the downtime issue. It's going to look at the current config. It's going to look at the process and error handling and implement some sort of graceful handling for the missing Vite manifest. And then we can try and get this fixed. And again, I could do this from my phone. I could do this from anywhere that I am. And Claude will just jump in and start working on it. I don't need to be at my desktop for this to work. And so already Claude has found the issue. The app layout uses directives, which will throw an exception when the manifest JSON file is missing during deployment. Okay, so it's created a solution here that's going to show us basically a maintenance page when this happens. And we can also create a deploy script that builds the assets before swapping them to minimize downtime. It's also created a deployment MD with full instructions of how to do this. Okay, so here's the full solution. 
graceful error handling. It catches the errors and shows a maintenance page. And then it also recommends a, a deployment strategy with a new script that will build the assets completely before going live. And then up at the top here, it says it's finished the task. We can view the job that it did, or we can just click create PR and it will create a pull request for us in the repo as well. And we can see the files changed here. And then back in my project inside cursor, I can do git pull and then we can check out the issue. And we're now on this branch and I can test this locally to make sure that it actually works before I deploy it live. And now that I have that, I can work on other projects as well very quickly. So I could be out and decide that on my personal site, I want to make this newsletter box bigger and more prominent. So I could go to the repo, go to issues and ask Claude to do that. So I can create a new issue and ask it to redesign this newsletter component to make it better and encourage more signups. I can give it a bit of context about the things that I do and I don't particularly like the headline and subtitle. So now Claude code is just going to pick this up, go and work on it for me and propose a new version for the newsletter sign up. Okay, check this. It's literally gone through my entire sign up process on the newsletter and figured out that first of all, I had this terminal component, which I don't actually use and it has a, a to do on it. So it's implemented a real sign up logic for that. It's now gone through and softened up the design basically for both components because I had two of them. It's redesigned the main page a little bit, added some more spacing and some generous margins. Now we're using a softer, more approachable color palette that maintains my retro aesthetic, but still is welcoming to non-technical users who I'm really trying to reach with my tutorials and content that, to show that you can use AI even if you are not a developer. So what we can do now is head up back to the top and create a pull request. The cells created a preview for us so we can now view the preview. And okay, this looks nicer. I don't necessarily like the Ian's list, but it has got rid of the green stuff. It hasn't actually changed the text, but it's designed it nicely. This is pretty good. Let's check dark mode as well. Okay, snazzy. This maybe gives me the idea for designing this page completely differently around this new theme. I quite like it, to be fair. It's pretty nice. We can go back to system. And that looks good. And this was all done in the background. I literally went off and did something else, came back and it was done for me. You can give this a try for yourself and set up async development, which means that Claude can work while you sleep, eat or focus on other tasks. And you can just give it things to do inside of your GitHub repository. You can double your output by working on things simultaneously with Claude code and you can get issues addressed whenever you're working on pull requests. It will find things that you weren't even aware were problems and help you to ship better, safer, secure apps. If you do use this, let me know in the comments below what you're using it for.